Hi guys, this is Tor coming at you from the uh, 2016 NAMM show and uh, I'm here with the incredible Jake Wilson, young and upcoming guitar player, amazing player actually. Thank you, um, too kind. Thanks so much for taking the time to drop by here. Oh, my pleasure, it's, uh, it's my first NAMM. Yeah. So it's been uh, it's been pretty uh, full on. Yeah, I uh, imagine. lots of fun playing a lot of lovely gear and guitars and things like that. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and you know what you're doing guitar wise? Uh, well, I primarily uh, a freelance professional guitar player, um, and uh, but I also do um, my own kind of thing through JamTrackCentral yep. uh, .com. Uh, but uh, yeah, I kind of just do uh, gigs when people need me to do them. Uh, and that's in all kinds of different fields, studio stuff, and um, you know, I work from home doing yeah. that as well. So yeah, I mean, I, I became aware of you through the Jam Track Central mm. stuff, and I recommend anybody who haven't seen you there should check it out. It's uh, great, great playing. So we've been messing about a bit with the uh, Hall of Fame reverb pedal, mm. and uh, you talked a little bit about what you were looking for in a reverb, and also what you weren't looking for. Mm. Can you give a little insight into that? Well, I, I normally go uh, straight for the plate reverb, yeah. and I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but f for me, just as a sound, that the spring is nice, but sometimes there's a there's some like upper frequency stuff that yeah. I feel that gets in the way a bit, especially when it's louder. Yeah. That's a nice spring sound, but it's not always for what I want. No. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm trying to do something more subtle, more ambient. Um, but I don't use reverb too much as a bed behind the guitar, like it's not an always on effect. No. So it's either, it's kind of either there or it isn't. And I like it to work for both single note playing and for chord playing. Yeah. So kind of a nice compromise in between. Um, then um, I guess after that, uh, it's all uh, down to the subtleties. Yeah. So we've been tweaking a bit ab about on this, um, basically, you know, kind of coming up with something mm. you like. Can you give us a short example of how it sounds? Yeah, this is a, a kind of uh, medium plate, to medium to large plate, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so uh, this kind of works for single note playing. Uh, but, it, um, but it also works really nicely on the chordal stuff. You know, just that sort of texture behind it. Yeah, so it's um, you know it's got this. It's quite subtle uh, uh, as well as being there. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to yeah. say. It stays out of the way, but it keeps the sustain. It keeps the sound evolving. Yeah, you know, especially those chords that are held with the whammy bar, just going a bit. It kind of keeps the the sound three dimensional. Yeah, it's there, doing its thing. Yeah, but you're not like noticing like <laughs> yeah, yeah tsunami of. Uh... But if you're playing like the sort of more staccato -y blues stuff. It's there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's there. It's nice. It's uh, uh, yeah, that was. We heard a bit there of the modulation. Oh yeah, we added a bit of uh, we added a bit of modulation to the tail mm. to kind of keep it moving. That's it. Uh, yeah, the, obviously not on the front of the uh, the pedal itself, but that's one of the cool things. The about secret the secret things inside. Yeah. yeah, and then I mean the in terms of the tone, you kind of. You had a, you know, you liked a quite a wide spectrum of the different sounds in terms of the EQing of the tail. So with the mm. tone knob, you can actually dial it in from being quite bright to, to quite dark. Uh, it's the way we set it up. Twelve o'clock is what mm. you know, like the basic sound of it. Yeah, average. And then you, you know, you made it so that if you crank this up, you can you get something that's a little bit more drastic. Sure. It's uh, it's more of a um, more of a Alan Holzer sound. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, much much more of an ambient thing. Um, I mean, maybe uh, maybe uh, the off position as yeah, well. Yeah, it's actually interesting. Yeah, it's we, that we, we kind of just get like a room sound, but with the with the modulation being yeah. heard. So. It's there. I mean, if we, uh, we bypass, can turn off, yeah. so bypass tone. Um, 
I'll try to play a similar lick here. It's just a bit of like, um, it's a room yeah, sound. Yeah. Uh, and with the modulation, it kind of sounds like, a, like an old, um, uh, uh, an older reverb unit. Yeah. yeah. Small room. Really, really nice sound. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Nice. So anyway, it's all, all, yeah. between, all they're all usable. Yeah. All between. So. so I mean, that's pretty much the pedal. Um, do we have an idea for what we should call the tone print? Well, it's a, it's a plate reverb, and I, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, both uh, Alan Partridge and Alan Holdsworth. <laughs> um, so we're going to call it Alan's Big Plate. That's perfect. <laughs> I'll type that in. There we go. Okay. Thanks so much for doing this. Oh, my pleasure.